Hi, my name is Sharon Valentine, and I come to you as part of the equity support team. Equality means everybody is treated the same. Treated equitably means everyone has the same opportunity. This includes recognition also of uniqueness, of diversity, valuing differences, ensuring that all belong, are needed and valued. Inclusive design recognizes one solution won't fit everyone and that there is intentionality to take into account individual needs and consider the needs across the lifespan. For example, when looking at building needs, this requires advocacy for full participation in all areas of life. Some of our greatest challenges involve looking at our places of power and privilege, understanding how we live, work, and have our being means we must be constantly inquiring, challenging, assessing, and evaluating. It involves creating brave space to ask questions and explore our learning journey, to consider various perspectives, Dr. Tom Reynolds coined the term witness, adding an H to witness, reminding us of our need to be with one another, emphasizing belonging. As an intercultural church, the United Church of Canada holds up our equity aspirations, aim for equity, live out our commitments, question biases, challenge assumptions, notice who's missing, and value all voices. We are very organic, learning as we go. Our equity focus includes focus on all the ways that people might experience being on the margins, Indigenous, racialized, LGBTQ, two-spirit, of any sexual orientation and gender identities, those with disabilities, those visible and the often more complex invisible disabilities, and all the ways that they intersect. Over time, this has come to include so much more than the accessibility of buildings, though that is still a real need. We consider equity all the time, even if we might not have used the name what to do about diverse food needs for your event, thoughts about obstacles and barriers that people face, exploring how inclusive your community of faith policies and practices really are. Consider who's missing at your table and ponder how to ensure that they are included, needed, welcomed, valued, ensure space is accessible, People identify themselves when speaking, that microphones are being used, PowerPoints adhere to the standards, usually about 40 font or greater. Trying to send materials out in advance so everybody has equitable access. When we look at the building itself, are there gender neutral washrooms available, even if temporary for a particular event? Is inclusive language being used? Is there a quiet space that's available for those who might need that? Dietary considerations are being met. People's, sorry, food is being labeled. Ingredients known by the volunteers who are serving. The people are sent free. People are informed about service animal protocols. When we have all of these sorts of things happening, then we truly are dealing with the practical day-to-day -day that we are facing within our communities of faith, within our regional council, and the wider church. Because equity matters each and every day. As we live into that goal, we are continuing to look to Christ who modeled for us how to be truly equitable.